yung topic natin very nice, no? Actually, hindi ko ma-distinguish ano ba ang dengue at malaria. Yes. Kasi yung topic natin is malaria also. Yes. So, pa paano mo po ba ma-differentiate yung dalawa? No? Okay. So, actually, no, maganda, no? Na ito yung pag-usapan natin this morning. Kasi last time, if I remember correctly, we talk about yung dengue, dengue. Yes. Ba? Which is also oh. caused by yung mga diseases na galing okay. sa malamok. So, malaria naman, this one is a disease, okay? Uh, caused by a parasite, no? Mm -hmm. Last time kasi dengue is a disease caused by a virus, no? Mm -hmm. So, this is a parasitic infection okay. na pwedeng maidala sa atin humans from mosquitoes also. Kaya lang itong mosquito kasi is yung titawag natin the female na anophilis na mosquito. Mm -hmm. However, dun sa dengue before, it's Aedes na mosquito. Okay. So, magkaibang lamok na vector na nagdadala ng sakit na to. So, yung sakit na dinadala, by this Anopheles mosquito, especially the female Anopheles mosquito, is a parasite, okay, which will cause malaria in humans. And the name of that parasite, okay, is the Plasmodium. Okay. okay? Plasmodium. So, iba't ibang klase pa nga siya ng mga species of that Plasmodium. Well, that can bring the different diseases dito sa mga tao. Mm, opo. Pero, Doc, saan po nagsimula itong pagkakaroon ng malaria? Para kasi dati ang naisip ko, na naririnig ko na sa mga bundok daw na una yes. na na-discover mm. yung malaria. Actually, tama naman, no? Because we are putting ourselves in close proximity. Mm. Pupunta tayo doon sa mga places na mga maraming mga mountainous areas, opo. okay? Usually, mga rural areas. Mm -hmm. Dati, di ba, nung pinag-usapan natin, Dege, mayroon akong parang acronym na DLSU, mm -hmm. yung dengue because of daytime, yes. tapos low flying. Ito naman, NRMF naman. Ano naman po yun? Parang no? school ko, no? <laughs> NRMF, ano siya, nocturnal. Nocturnal. So, ibig sabihin, usually they bite at, at night. night. Oh. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Those rural areas, tapos mountainous areas, and flowing water naman. Dati, mm -hmm. ba stagnant yung water? Yes. Ito naman flowing, so NRMF. Yung pala ang kaibahan uh -oh. nila, ng breathing ng... Ito yung ng... usual difference okay. niya. Okay. Same symptoms din pa yung mararanasan nila. Like dengue, mm -hmm. same po ba siya sa malaria, magkaka-fever ka, may bleeding po ba yan? May ganun po bang okay. hemorrhagic stage uh, sila? Usually kasi yung dengue, no, it belongs to one of the hemorrhagic na diseases. Yeah. Itong malaria, hindi talaga naman tayo makakita naman frank na bleeding. So usually the patients okay will complain of fever, fever. chills, tapos nagkakaroon sila ng sweating, no? Mm. So kadalasan ang cause ng fever na yan kasi is yung parasite, okay? Ini-infect niya yung RBC natin, yung pula ng dugo. Mm -hmm. So what happens is pag kinagat tayo ng mosquito na infected. Kasi kapag itong female Anopheles mosquito, wala naman siyang sakit, hindi naman siya infected. Mm. So, pag kinagat ka tayo, mangangati lang tayo usually, mm. which is quite irritating. Oh, yes, yes. But if this mosquito would carry itong parasite na to, pag nag-blood meal siya sa atin, it would inject the sporozoids na tinatawag. Okay. Itong, parasite. Yes, itong sporozoids, siya yung pupunta sa katawan natin, pupunta sa blood cells natin, specifically sa red blood cells, yung pula mm -hmm. ng dugo. So, what happens is, pag itong red blood cells natin would get infected, Lalo na kapag madami yung parasitic load, madami siya, no? Pag nag-rupture siya, okay? So, yun yung time na usually the patient complains of fever, okay? Mm. So, kaya dati, no? Pag nag-test ng malaria, usually they advise to get the blood sample at the peak of the fever. Ngayon, hindi naman kasi paano kung hindi mo siya na-timingan or what? Mm -hmm. But usually, they found out that mas hindi at the peak of fever. Anytime, if you get the blood, tapos sisilipin natin the under the microscope, makikita pa rin talaga natin. Oh. Just recently, ngayon, naka-admit pa yung patient but she's getting well, may malaria because mm. of a travel history. Mm. So, I think isang very important din na tatanungin natin sa patient yung history ng travel. Yes. Kasi yes. kapag usually sa cities lang, wala naman eh. Mm. But if oh, you'll oh. ask her, pumunta siya sa Ghana, no? Doon mm. sa may African uh, continent, tapos meron siyang mga layovers, tapos meron siyang mga exposures. Mm -hmm. So that's very important no? to ask for the travel history of the patient. Saan ba siya pumunta sa mga rural areas ba? Tapos ano yung mga symptoms niya? So kadalasan, yun nga, yung sasabi ko, mm -hmm. nakaka-chills, mm -hmm. nakaka-fever. Ang sabi pa nga niya sa akin, eh, nakakaroon siya ng chills kasi ano daw, masakit daw yung likod niya, ganyan. Mm -hmm. So sabi na dahil mahaba daw yung plane ride, mm -hmm. hindi ako masyadong convinced Apo. because if you are going to entertain yung malaria, very typical Apo. na andun yung mga symptoms. Yeah. So, sabi ko, po oo, so sabi ko, yes, tama na may nararamdaman mo because you can have yung mga tinatawag na non-specific signs and symptoms. Mm -hmm. Yung parang tinatrangkaso lang. Pero very 
pronounced. Talaga yes. yung kinakwento niya, talaga na chills daw siya. Tapos to the point na pag nakahiga siya, nakadapa, tapos talaga na chill siya. Mm -hmm. Tapos nagkaka-fever, sweating. Tapos maya maya, naging mas okay naman siya. Uh -huh. no? uh -huh. So we have to be very uh, cautious no? doon sa pagtanong ng mga history dun sa patient. Dok, gano'n po katagal bago mag-start na maramdaman ng patient yung symptom? Pagkahagat po ba ng lamok, isang mm -hmm. araw, lalag natin na po siya? Hindi naman siya yung immediate. Usually it takes around three, four, mm -hmm. five days. It depends, mm -hmm. no? Kasi minsan, yung mga parasitic load, pag sobrang madami, mm -hmm. so you will experience more severe, faster mm -hmm. the symptoms. In fact, yung kinakwento ko kanina, yung plasmodium, maraming species din. Mm -hmm. Usually, apat na species yung mas famous, pero may isa pa kasi siya. Okay. But usually, hindi yan ganun ka-common. Okay. So, ang pinaka-common pa rin, if we're going to think dito sa Philippines, is yung falsiparum, mm -hmm. yung plasmodium falsiparum. Itong falsiparum, ito nga yung medyo notorious because this one can lead to yung severe form of malaria which can eventually lead to death. No? Mm -hmm. O kasi pwede ka magkaroon ng cerebral malaria because of the falsiparum na species. So medyo aggressive Opo. ka dapat as a physician to detect yung case mm -hmm. of the patient and to treat them. Okay. No? Okay. Doon po, doon sa blood test na ginagawa mm -hmm. nyo, do you also check on the platelet counts ng pasyente or is it different mm -hmm. from dengue po? And ano pa po yung mga laboratory works na pinapagawa nyo po? Okay, sa thanks. So, usually for a malaria patient, now we are trying to consider, mm -hmm. so syempre we do yung CBC platelet. Yes. Hindi dahil sa we want to monitor yung pag-drop ng platelet, gusto din nating bantayan yung pula ng dugo. Okay. Because with malaria, yung patient can become anemic, no? Pwede yung bumaba din yung pula ng dugo niya. Bakit? Kasi nag-rupture eh, yung RBC. Oh, oh. So kung nag-rupture yung RBC, yung red blood cells, pwede yung bumaba din. Mm -mm. In fact, this patient of mine, okay? So nung habang hinihintay ko pa yung result ng blood smear, ano nga siya? Nakikita ko pababa nga yung trend ng pula ng dugo niya. Mm -hmm. So sabi ko, nako, pag bumaba pa yan, we might have to transfuse you. Mm -hmm. The problem is, itong patient ay din na magpa-transfuse actually oh. because of religious reasons. Oh, okay, so, okay. Niya. So sabi ko, nako, buti na lang. So na-detect na natin, nakita na natin, so malaria talaga siya. So we have to treat them early mm -hmm. then. Because the main reason on why we have to treat yung mga malaria na cases, yung mga non-severe cases is we want to eradicate yung parasite. Mm -hmm. Because if humantong ka na sa mga severe malaria, our main objective is to prevent death of the patient. So it depends on how you approach mm -hmm. it. Doc, clarify ko lang. Sabi niyo po sa malaria, bumababa din po yung RBC. Yes. Pero din po ba sa dengue? Ah, sa dengue, actually, we are monitoring the hematocrit din, yung pula na part ng dugo din. Because we want to know yung hydration status oh. din ng patient. Kasi very important for dengue, like what we just discussed last time, last month, I think, mm -hmm. no? Kailangan natin silang i-hydrate, no? Mm -hmm. Kasi pwede silang matuyuan, no? Mm -hmm. Ng tubig sa katawan. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung isang marker natin to tell us kung enough na ba yung fluids oh. na binibigay natin or hindi. Mm -hmm. With malaria, of course, we still give symptomatic treatment. Mm -hmm. We hydrate them. Uh -oh, tapos, kailangan din natin talaga siyang i-treat. For dengue, kasi wala siyang specific na treatment. Eh. Mm -hmm. Ano lang supportive. But this malaria, without treatment, the patient will surely not get cured talaga. Hindi talaga siya gagaling mag-isa, no? So, okay. kailangan talaga siya uminom ng gamot. Ano yun, I was gonna ask. Uh -huh. Ano yung gamot? Ano yun? Yeah, yung treatment, actually, surprisingly, itong malaria has been here with us for quite mm -hmm. some time. So, siyempre, kung medyo matagal na itong sakit na to, marami na rin mga gamot na napagdaanan. Before, no, very famous, yung mga binibigyan ng chloroquine, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you can remember, chloroquine, di ba naging one of the treatments sa dati for mm -hmm. ano, COVID yes. noong yeah. earlier times? So, chloroquine is one of the very good drugs, okay? Mga prima queen. Kaya lang they have found out, okay, na may certain areas in the world na medyo resistant na siya. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, ang guidelines will tell us, usually for mga malaria na infection, mm -hmm. we give them yung artemisin combination na therapy. Okay. In fact, they can get the medicines for free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sa mga public hospitals po Sa ba yan? Sa DOH na pharmacies, ah, okay. okay, they can get those medicines for free. Like this patient admitted in a private hospital, pero nakuha naman nila siya yung gamot. Mm -hmm. We just need to prescribe and to give yung parang abstract lang na makit mo siya bibigyan yeah. ng klaseng gamot. And this one, like in her case, kanya pag falsiparum lang, hindi is naman severe. Usually, the treatment is just four days. Mm -hmm. So, first three days, mayroon siyang yung combination na co-artem, yung artemitorlumifantrin. Tapos, on the third day, yung 
first day kasi tawag namin dun, day zero eh. Day mm -hmm. So day zero, day one, day two. So three days. Yes. So on that fourth day, yung day three na tinatawag, we give him Prima Queen. Mm -hmm. Bakit? Kasi with this falsiparum, yung pinaka-common, yung falsiparum kasi, we want to treat itong patient. Yet, we want this patient not to infect other mosquito. Mm -hmm. Kasi kapag you ikaw may malaria ka, yun. then, yes, then you'll be beaten by the mosquito and you dinamay mo din yung mosquito, oh. no? So that it's mosquito, yes, can get infected. Mm -hmm. Then it's transferred niya sa ibang tao. Thank you.